I am the proud owner of a few stingless beehives that I got from Madhushri Bee and Honey Farm around mid-November of 2016. It has been a great journey so far observing the bees in action. After the initial excitement died down, I realized I need to look up for detailed information regarding stingless bees. In my search for more knowledge, I realized that there is a dry season or an off season for all types of bees, either due to winter or rains or excessive heat, due to which flowers are not available to the bees and bees are unable to get pollen and nectar from nature. They then have to rely on the honey they have stored inside their hives or then the beekeepers provide them with a food source so that they are not starving and the colony doesn't die. Since my hives are relatively new and still getting established as a colony, they do not have any reserves. I felt the need to be prepared in case I need to feed them and this led to the idea of creating an easy do-it-yourself bee feeder. I have used two very simple ideas. The first one is adapted from a search I did online and I'll leave the link of the website in the description box. I came up with the second idea just trying to think out of the box. has a rim like this and the box shuts properly right and what you need to do is uh, heat a needle a sewing sui dhaga needle on the gas flame and heat it up and then make small holes over here on the top part not at the bottom which is going to shut here all along and let me show you this one is empty now you can see the holes over here they are there all around and that's it what you do now is you uh, weigh your sugar and water and use equal parts of both so if it's 300 grams of sugar it should be 300 grams of water as well and you can heat the mixture for around a minute or so so that all the sugar dissolves there's no need to bring it to a boil or anything just warming it will be sufficient and you fill up the box I have some remaining from yesterday. You can fill up the box till 3 fourth, shut it nicely and securely. Just check all the four sides that it's secure and then what you need to do is just turn it. Now what will happen is the sugar solution will start oozing out of the holes and in a few minutes there will be a vacuum pressure created so then the flow of the syrup from outside to inside will stop until the liquid that is there outside is consumed you can see here the syrup has started to flow out and in a few minutes it will stop now on the first day I had used diluted honey and that was three-fourth parts of honey and one-fourth part of water and 
as soon as I placed it what happened was uh, the ants came in to the mixture as well so what I what I did for the ants to stop getting into the honey mixture was I placed this whole assembly under a dish of water so that the ants could not climb from anywhere and get onto the top so once I did that there were no ants in the second idea I'm using reed sticks that are used for home fragrances these are made in Mysore the idea behind using these is to give the bees something to hold on to and prevent themselves from drowning in the honey the reed sticks absorb the honey or the sugar solution and the bees are able to enjoy their meal without the danger of drowning I put two bee feeders with diluted honey close to my stingless beehives in my two balcony windows nothing happened for a day on the second day I noticed a lot of bee activity these were the honey bees that build hives regularly on the higher floors of my building and probably in the garden across I observed the bees and filmed them from a close distance without any issues they were happily enjoying the honey and polished it off within a day and a half I wanted to explore a cheaper option of feeding the bees as well so I decided to give them sugar water at this point things changed very fast the number of bees increased dramatically and they appeared to be in a feeding frenzy I felt as though they went back and reported to the hive that there's a food source here and everybody needs to come and join in on the party I could no longer film them up close and I had to shut my windows as the bees were coming in from along the entire length of my 11 foot window it was surprising how these honey bees found the feeder as it was not really out in the open it was behind my Siam Queen basil plant you can see some stingless bees trying to join in on the frenzy the small black insects that are trying to get in along with the big bees but their numbers were too few it was totally unexpected and watching them this way made me break out into a cold sweat I was scared and excited at the same time somewhat like being on a roller coaster ride scared at what I had invited into my window and excited to be able to experience and film the bees in action so closely I have to mention that these bees do not visit my windows at all I have stingless bees and other types of bees visit these honey bees polished off the food and left they did not go to my basil flowers or any other flowers in my garden that normally attracts plenty of bees so I'm not sure if this is a way to invite honey bees to pollinate the garden they were pretty business like they ate and they left 
While the honey bees made merry in the sugar solution, my stingless bees were hard at work on my basil and mustard flowers, which was annoying since the feeder was created for the stingless bees and not for the honey bees. If you are an Indian gardener, you probably have stingless bees visit your garden every day. They are native to our country. The honey bees probably don't visit my garden as I may not be growing flowers of their choice. I realized I will have to figure out another way of feeding my stingless bees. Probably feed them inside the hive so that I don't have the honey bees coming into my windows in such great numbers. Keeping bee feeders would be a great method to supplement food supply of our native bees to keep them alive. However, great caution must be exercised. A terrace garden or an in-ground garden would be ideal setup to feed the bees in this manner. I hope you enjoyed watching the honey bees in action on the DIY bee feeders at my Mumbai balcony garden. Until next time, happy gardening.